It's Molaka time, motherfuckers, and today I'm gonna bring you guys, uh, I think, like a 20 minute replay, at least I believe so. All that good stuff. We have Fan here, and also we do have Royal Weapons, which I feel like I've done a replay of his before or something like that, but I'm not entirely sure. Over here we do have Raptor F22, and we have Enraged, and it's on this map, which I haven't really seen this map. I only I personally played this map once and I think I saw a replay on this map too, but it's very big for a 2v2 and lots of um what do I want to say? Like um Damn, what what am I trying to think of? Like um I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, you could easily suppress and hold some choke points. There you go. There are lots of choke points. On this map. So I wonder how this is going to go here. So we have the American moving up with two riflemen. We do have Sturm Pioneers pushing up quite far. We are actually not pushing up far too. But American riflemen are going to come in. And is going to push them a little bit back. Sturm Pioneers definitely overextended. Should fall back to the building I think. And not risk taking any damage. <clears throat> Where's riflemen coming in now? It's going to be kind of fucked. You're going to get in the building. Maybe come out over here. And disengage that way, which I think would be the best. But American moving up fast and is going to hopefully secure that fuel. Now, OKW probably should have gotten a Kubel on this map. I really think so. Kubel would have been really good on this map. Uh, but he didn't. So it's going to be a little bit hard for him to cap up with the infantry that he needs to combat the American. But he does get Volks in here. Um, Sturm Pioneer could actually do a lot right now. Unless this American guy's good. Yeah, oh yeah, he just switched. Yeah, you fuck now, dude. Yeah, he tried. At least the guy was looking. So hopefully this guy does go looks. Or uh, at least Stuka or something to counter uh, the rifleman and stuff. Uh, keeping his Volks in here is quite dumb. Should just retreat them out, right? Does have some more Volk coming in. So we have the Russian guy here with a maximum. When two maximum, one conscript, which I find very weird. Uh, just because this, well, I guess one maximum should be fine, but would have gotten a majority of conscripts just because there's a lot of flanking opportunities and MGs can't cover everything. But he is covering this little flank over here and this MG to this MG. You love this munitions point. Here comes the other MG. And Engineer's just going to juke it out all of that. So I did notice that this fucking Fagmo actually went Mech Assault, which I think is quite funny. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I guess the Stug would be pretty good, but I don't know. I, I would, I think it's too. I'm quite unsure on how Mech Assault would plan. I, of course, I, okay, okay. Basically, Mech Assault would be good on this map just because of the close combat and the grenade assault and such. But the fact that it's so far and and then dealing with MGs and then you need mortars. Maybe going on the mortar half trick wouldn't have been too half bad. But he is going a mortar. The Vermont guys, I don't know. So double Vulcan here. The American guy is a little bit low. <clears throat> I don't know why he got out of that building, uh, to be honest. Maybe he's going to get in double into this building. Get some more guys in the window. Uh, Sturm, this Volk, not sure why he's not uh, replenishing his forces there. Yeah, he is bringing up the Sturm Pioneer. And he is going to get off his truck as well. So I have everything quiet over here on the left. The conscripts retreating. MG kind of staying over here guarding that VP lull that just just right there. I don't know if he'll be able to see it or not. Glorious ambulance. Very nice. I was going to use that ambulance early. Yeah, and there goes those Volk as well. There goes that Volk as well too. Right now I really hate what this uh, Royal Weapons guy is doing. He's kind of piecemealing his infantry one by one. And he's just, look at that. Just kind of got put... See, I don't know why he was sending his Sturm Pioneers in there for. There's truly no point in why he would send his Sturm Pioneers there. No point except dying. And of course, if the Kubel would have been up, I mean, I mean, imagine these extra points capped up this one all the way over here. Even though this one doesn't matter because it's just a repair station. But then these two points as well, you could have easily capped that and gotten the resources way earlier. And stocked them up faster. So stupid, but we do have both do American riflemen moving in. Push back that. Uh, Mech Assault's coming in here for the double rape. Oh, never mind. Oh, Mech Assault's going to try and come in here. Should back away. 
I mean, you saw the two riflemen there. You should not engage against two riflemen, especially with that gap close. Nice getting in that building. But it's still uh, pretty futile, if you ask me, because, again, so much riflemen, conscripts and such, uh, and you're going to sit in the Molotov. Makes all the sense of the fucking world. So they do have mortar and MG, slowly trying to counter this MG. Fuel cache building up here. <coughs> Lol, total troll, conscript's gonna get destroyed. I would get out of the... Ah, oh, nice. Get rid of that conscript. So that was nice, uh, some Volk reinforcements coming in here. This is where I would have both mech assaults here and then, uh... I think it's Spire. I think that's what it's called or something. Could have ran into here. Does have quite a bit of riflemen, but as long as the Volk came in to support, I think it would have been fine. This guy is sitting on way too much manpower right now. I don't know why he's not upgrading to Phase 3. I don't know why he's calling off mech assaults. I don't know why he's not building a medical bunker. Um, this is all very bad. Very, very bad. I don't know why he's not OPing. All things that he could be doing with his manpower right now. And his engineers are doing something really stupid. And again, don't know what is. I don't know why you're trying to get your mech assault into some cover there, but it's just really fucking stupid. Yeah, you do not know how to play mech assault whatsoever, bitch. You really fucking don't. So many opportunities. Oh, gotten them buildings. Fuck you. That's why I said also getting actual infantry over the MGs is great because you can get. You know, multiple of these just grab some of these buildings really fast and force retreats. <clears throat> Are you going to, like, get in? See, this This is mediocre range. This the, You're not going to do anything at this range. You need to go balls deep into that conscript squad and completely rape them. That's pretty sad. That is very, very sad. So, again, mortar. Uh, lul, that, that MG retreated into that little fucking corner. Um, yeah, he tried to. So we do see the Mech HU coming out, and we do see a looks, which is going to be very, very good indeed. Uh, Vicatton, don't know why he got this out. Um, seems very weird to me. But he did, and they're just walking backwards, which makes all the sense in the world, and lol, rear echelons. <sighs> if only you had a Kubel, man. If only you had a fucking Kubel. Ah, uh, he is upgrading at least STGs. <clears throat> Don't know why you're going to walk in here. You're looking at it. Oh? Yeah. You got shit for it and you wasted those munitions. So he bought a second engineer. Instead of, you know... Oh, did he buy the Leash Mechanized Company? Now nah, he's buying the Medical Bunker. Wow. It's about time you actually used your engineers. Oh, he's buying the OP2. Wow. Holy shitballs, man. He's actually doing it. So Royal Fagmo does have his glorious looks. Does definitely have to be careful of the anti-tank rifle grenade. He needs to stay far. He needs support. And he needs to... Um, yeah. <sighs> and of course my family's deciding to play music off in the background. And I'm not sure if I should really scream at them for turning it down or something like that. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll just wait until I get really pissed or something. And also, this guy's going to get out of here and anti tank graphic grenade you. No? Really? All oh, that ambulance? Damn. Ready at five kills. Back up. Dude, what are you paying attention to? Okay, good. He did pull back. God damn, that was about to infuriate me. Don't know why he got didn't get out of the building to probably get in this one and then get out and to take rifle grenade or anything like that. Which uh, kind of sucks. And of course, this guy just happened to go lieutenant, which is going to hurt him a lot. He's going to get a... F why would you get a flak against the looks? This is what I want to fucking know. Oh boy. Ambulance down too. Looks completely going unchecked. And completely raping. And now finally this Russian guy finally got an AT. He went 85 and IS2 doctrine. Can't believe this fucking retard bought an AA. 
when the looks was out. I'm I'm baffled at this. Of course, this guy, again, stocking up my manpower and not doing anything whatsoever. Not upgrading the phase two. I bet you he's waiting for a Stug, but he's not going to get that, dude. Just get a Panzer IV. Look at that rape. As I said, Annie took the majority of the damage from the AT. whoop de fucking do What a fucking waste. And he actually bought a 50 cal, too. This American guy was making good progress, even though I think he's still a little bit overextended, but... Right now, he just completely dying to the looks. I believe his overall mistake was actually going for the lieutenant, which is really hurting him. Because now he could have gotten a captain, could have gotten that bazooka. Obviously, he doesn't know how to use an anti-tank rifle grenade to the slightest. Chuck two grenades. He actually has quite a heavy amount of munitions. I mean, at this point, so he's getting his major. Uh, he doesn't have enough fuel. He should upgrade. He should definitely get this weapon rack. Equip his rare echelons with bazookas. <clears throat> and equip one rifleman with bazookas and the other one with LMGs. Don't know why he's not doing this at the moment. Definitely don't know why he's not doing that at the moment. Which is hurting them a lot. And of course, over here, this douchebag. Uh, this Russian guy trying to do this with one thing or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Um, <clears throat> could get a 76. Counter the looks a little bit. T70 to attempt to counter to as well. Uh, if I was him, I would just go straight for the fucking, um, I'd go straight for the mechanized armor company and try to go for an 85 right off the bat. That's what I would do. Yep, that's what he's doing. Okay, he's intelligent a little bit. Intelligent a little bit, but he has no infantry. He's try oh, yeah, he's building this, so. Take cover. So nice, he does have a 34 up in this building, which is going to... Well, it was luckily he went for the instant retreat there, otherwise he would have been completely fucked. That was a fucking waste. Well, he has so much munitions, okay. That was pretty dumb. Where's another ambulance? Again, he still isn't buying the weapon rack. This guy is... I, I think it's official. He's really bad. He, he does not know how to upgrade or to counter. Right now, I know he's saving up for some kind of Sherman. And he thinks it's going to be great. But dude... <clears throat> you can get a bazooka. You could last... You can not only better your infantry for the late game to support your tank. But right now, you could be easily countering this looks. Instead of... Just so dumb chucking fucking grenades. And he did put a mine there, as you can see, double mine here. Just in case he is flanked from this or this, his looks can't easily get away. <clears throat> and again, he knew the MG was there, but he's still staying here for some reason, trying to chuck smoke, which is... I don't know fucking why. And his infantry is just going to get demolished. It, it, just what the fuck? MG getting completely destroyed. <clears throat> by flanking infantry. <clears throat> And again, um, I think a lot of people, I think these guys play so far are playing really, the allies. I don't know, man. Yes, go balls deep. Don't stay at that range. Go balls deep into there. <clears throat> yes, just destroy them. Kill this last guy. Now kill, get in there. <clears throat> get in real close. I would have kept the extra guy. That sucks. Almost killed the engineers. But yeah, this guy, he, he put this, this MG in a key location. This MG was fine. But he had no infantry and he has a lot of manpower at the moment. He is finally getting his 85. But technically, what at what cost to the fact that he can't cap? The American guy did uh, steal the Vicat. And the looks is very low health with 10 kills at Vet 3. Uh, he is going to put back his MG34 up in that bitch. <clears throat> a Shvia right here would be nice. Or a Shvia even right here. 
Wouldn't be too f bad. Um, what the fuck is this? Why is it a cat in there? Oh, probably to cover the flank. Okay. And that grenade took a shit ton of health from that MG. Wow. Oh, yeah. Brother looks back to repair over there. And this guy, he is just healing up from what? I don't know. Oh, probably from maybe his Sturm Pioneers gave some medical stuff. Or whatever. So this guy's finally getting... Oh, he's getting a fucking Stug. Holy shit. Uh... A nice grenade assault, but it was just a little bit too far, and you might as well retreat there, you're gonna lose all your guys. Now, as you can see here, this guy just selected all of his guys and then decided to tell them to place them there, because you could tell by the way um, they deployed, which is funny. You know, it always surprises me when people go mech assault, they never go for mech assault, and lol, he ran into the fucking mine. It, it always surprised me. That they never bothered to get four, because four is like the magic number, or three even. Even with how much manpower that douchebag has. <clears throat> it amazes me. So the Shvi is up in this corner. Not sure how good of a placement that is. I mean, you should have placed it up further if you wanted to be gay, because then you could have covered into here. And other stuff, and then it could have covered here with the rest of your forces. So it's kind of stupid, but then okay, but it's kind of... Looks an MG just going to poke away there. Flare's gonna go down, random MG over here, capping up this with his engineers, all that gay shit, and there's still this mortar and trick here, bruh, oh, oh, he's trying to kill this thing, no, fucking retard, see this is where, uh, the actual, see this is actually where the half trick wouldn't be, the mortar half trick wouldn't be too half bad, uh, even though they made it harder to light buildings on fire, you could still just light these two, these, this building, and then this building on fire, and then push in that way. Of course, another fuel cache. American guy finally has a Jackson. Again, does not have weapon rack upgrade. Has a lot of manpower and only two riflemen. Uh, it is quite a damn shame, indeed. And of course, is again he he could he could probably even his major's in an okay spot. I was gonna say was he could try and level up his major to be gay, <clears throat> but he is a retard, so. Of course, this fucking retard does get the Stug, which makes me facepalm really badly. Uh, just because the Stug is not that great. <clears throat> the Stug just isn't great. It won't outrange the Jackson, it won't outdamage the 75 and the, uh, the 85. And the 85 can run circles around it too. <clears throat> really, to me, these double Stugs are an emergency tank. Pretty much. Now let's see. What I want. Let's see how these double stooks do against the 85. Actually, I would mass repair that son of a bitch. Why are you showing your rear armor? Ah, it's dead now. Oh, I thought it would be able to do anything. But uh, okay, the stooks did something. Okay, fuck me in the asshole. Fucking lol. And of course, mech assault and two engineers. Of course, with 600 fucking manpower. Again, the mortar barrage is something left to be desired. 13 Stug, not Stug, uh, looks. Again, some nice mine placement. I can't believe that someone actually ran over this mine here. They ran over the mine there, mine there. So good mine placement. Mine placement got, of course, the 85 kill. So that's pretty good as well. So, yeah. So he actually bought a 76 now, which I've top kek immediately. Could have just waited for an 85. This Russian guy really lacks infantry, and I think it hurts him a lot. You ever heard of Sprint, brah? Oh, he has, like, no munitions because he wasted them. Ooh, get fucking wrecked. Yeah, there goes his, uh... Yeah, there you go. He's dead now. And again, Stug dead from something... Jackson? Ooh... 76? 76 and Jackson. And this guy is not going to move up his fucking... Come on. Again, almost 1,000 manpower here. Finally got a captain. Please keep chasing. Oh, AT here. Ooh. So what did I say, Stug's get fucking pissed on. Wow, who would have thought? 
got flanked, couldn't deal with it, couldn't deal with the range of the Jackson, couldn't deal with the mobility of the 85, the 85, the 76. Whoop, 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 whoop. Who would have thought? So, glorious command panther out in this bitch. Too bad it can't command retard. Because, yeah. Jackson missed. Glorious Jackson. Again, th this is some so much fucking fail. Oh my god, you're getting a fucking pack howitzer. Holy shit. So first, so, so first, okay, okay, I'm just, I'm just so angry about, th you know what, his name is correct because he's, he's enraging me. No fucking weapon rack, no infantry, finally got the captain, didn't go the cap, the captain's staying here, and then he has a chosen a doctor with, at this point, a priest wouldn't be too half fucking bad, could call off a priest and uh, destroy this, or attempt to destroy it or something, or buy an AT or something fucking hell to get past the Shvia. Like, holy shit, Batman. And I get equipping one rifleman, and then this rear echelon, not with the fucking stupid mines, but with bazookas. He could have done something. He would have had a nice bazooka force, and also, I don't know what his Jackson is doing. His Jackson cannot outdo a panther by no means at all, especially command panther. And that fucking command panther missed. Top kick. So overall, humongous fail all about. And again, he's staying here and losing his lieutenant because he's a retard. And there goes Vet 3 Lieutenant. Yay! Not sure what he's looking at, though. He's looking at right here, but... Get shit on, pal. What a dumb placement for his Major. Major should be back here more, or back behind here to gain cover. And of course, his Jackson is going to die. No? Oh, the Viquette miss. No AT, no bazookas. Now he's building a fucking AT. Eh, what a fucking shame. So much shameful. Oh, that light mortar trying to kill the... Is it going to kill the Jackson? <laughs> uh, light mortar not only killed the Jackson, but almost killed the fucking Major too. <sighs> fucking light mortar. Shitty ass fucking crap ever. And of course, this Russian guy sitting on that much manpower yet again and still does not have adequate infantry to do anything whatsoever. Of course, this guy's going to buy another fucking Stug, uh, which makes me want to kill myself, but he's pretty much fucked, I think, because uh, he's going to get tracked and then Stug you from the rear. And he's any hit of mine, so he's dead now. So yeah. This guy's completely retarded, sending his tank for no particular reason whatsoever, because he did see that infantry, I do believe, that was coming over there. But, uh, yeah, he's really mentally retarded. And probably should have chose uh, Conscripts with PPSHAs. But, you know, I, you know something? I don't play this game, so I don't know. You know, I've all, I haven't been playing for, like, two years, but I think two or three years. And I don't know anything. You know, I, I don't know anything. I'm just a caster. But, you know, full retard is glorious. So, yeah, allies played utterly horrible. I, I, I'm just going to take a look out of, you know. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me at all. Now, for OKW, OKW was okay. I mean, the Shvia was, the looks was a great idea. Command Panther was fine. The Shvia was a lackluster, but he wanted probably to cap the fuel. I still think he should have placed it here, just so he can um, control the buildings. But I think the looks and not getting the Vakettens, I mean, getting a Kubel and then not getting the Vakettens would have been great. Could have capped up easily, could have done a lot more, could have had all of his infantry together to counter stroke the American. For the Russian guy, he did rush for that left point and did secure it, but he lacked infantry, he lacks competence to use manpower. Um, and all that other stuff. Though he did plant MGs and mines and okay spots, but it's still just rather retarded. And there, there goes the surrender of Enraged and Raptor, because they're both fucking stupid. So overall, it was an okay gameplay from okay perspective, because the Allies were raping them in the beginning. But, you know, this is what happens when you fail, when you fail to understand the fact that, okay, he's got a looks, he's got this, he's got that, I have all of these resources, I need to do this, this, and this. And my infantry would be great for late game. I'll be on my way to a Sherman or a Jackson, and I'll have an AT, and I have Captain with AT, I have Mobile AT, I have Stationary AT. I'm fucking great. 
But, you know, can't have everything. And then he don't even choose a doctrine. Did he actually choose a doctrine? No, he did not. This asshole didn't choose a fucking doctrine. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you got cancer.